Hi everybody, welcome to the Chateau de la Griffre. Again, a chateau that we bought so that Leslie and I could run a study abroad program here in France. We could host some students. This is season four, episode 13, and we had an amazing week. We did. We had some lovely friends that came by and uh, hung out with us at the Chateau this week. We got a ton done. This is going to be a long video, and so I'm going to tell you about the chapters right up front. We're going to start off talking about our friends TJ and Susan and all the things we did. Uh, then we're going to move on to uh, our daughter, Amy, uh, arriving here in France. And Amy goes to the Brocant. Very exciting. <laughs> uh, we got some nice gifts. We want to show you those. Um, and then uh, we're going to hit a few more things. Um, I did a day in the life of a to-do list, which is a lot of just random jobs. <laughs> oh, we're, actually, earlier in the video, we're going to do the GA bathroom, the gardener's bathroom, which is almost done. We made lots of good oh, progress close. on that. Um, and then finally, just some miscellaneous tasks. <laughs> no, that sounds great. So here we have uh, two very nice ladies working hard. <laughs> working hard. What you doing, ladies? <laughs> We're cleaning crown molding. I'm actually getting mold off the molding. Cleaning mold. Off the molding. Off the molding. Off yeah. the molding. Yeah. For whichever kids end up in this room. Yep. Yes. It's going to be much cleaner. By the way, nice to have workers. Uh, that aren't scared of ladders, ladders. which is yeah. many people are scared of ladders yeah. and uh, yeah. No, God love you and, and us me too. I'm up there all the time yeah. God love us and mr. Bingley doing his job <laughs> looking beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Bless his heart Hard actually to not get that streaky and uh, all the amazing curtains are vacuumed and we are ready for guests to arrive what you doing, Beth? Um, we have some unusual... Growths. <laughs> Growths? We have something growing. It feels alien. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I don't know what it is, honestly. Let's zoom in. Okay, you ready? Yep. We'll get the spider web first. It's mm. very wet up here. Uh-oh. Does it look alive? Off. Is it alien? It's eating things. Oh goodness. Oh, yeah, oh here. Yeah, so what's the plan, TJ? We're well, we're making way on straightening this wall out slowly because it's a concrete uh, or a plaster type base. Definitely straighter. Yeah, definitely like straighter. About uh, at least halfway. It was about two centimeters or more, three yeah. centimeters out of whack. Yeah. And so we just got one brace. We're going to throw two more braces yep. on there and maybe they'll control it and ease it up and we don't put so much pressure in one location. Right, right. Is it, if, it'd be great video, as I was saying. If, if we go through the wall and it breaks, it would be great video. But <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but we do got we've got you got this. We got this wood in here, right? So, and eventually what we'll do is probably drywall this up, and then you won't even know. Be a nice, yeah. solid looking, good wall. You'll have a double, kind of a double wall. We did just a low helping wall. What yep. We did so it doesn't sink anymore, and then it has a little chase behind it in case you want to run any utilities. So yeah, beauty. New tile. Oh, nice to have skills. Oh, I got it in there. I was scared. I touched the wood. I was like, ah. So that's great. Click it. And this and this is great. Oh, this is less. Give me happy about this. Bring that wall up, kind of scabbed all the last little bit of wood you had, and yeah. we'll put a mesh over that, and then some. We'll put a scratch coat, hopefully, and then someone can finish a finish coat because it won't dry. That no. Time. Yeah. Each one just a little bit more. Yeah. Only downside is everybody sees you working and me standing here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a good day. And TJ has straightened the wall. It's straight. Look at it. Straight. All right. Moment of truth. Loosening the wall. Is it bending? So far, so good. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Okay. Looking pretty straight. Looking pretty straight. I mean, no catastrophic pull. Pretty good. So far. I think so. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> If it cracks, eh? 
but no catastrophic fall. Yeah. So Good. what we did was just tag them yeah. with these. Originally, we were going to turn these, yeah. uh, but there was a bunch of utilities and yeah. channels. We had a channel through it, so we kept them this way yeah. and created this space here. And Beauty. Got the level on it. The bubble doesn't lie. The bubble doesn't lie. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Nice. It's so bizarre to walk up to this uh, wall and see it straight after so long of being bowed. It's, uh, I can't believe TJ figured that out. So great to have TJ and Susan. My goodness, they helped out. Yeah, it's quite something. If you'll remember, if you'll recall, how this piece of wood in here was pulling away and it's almost back to where it started. Really quite something. Susan is back at it with the beautiful morning breeze while we're trying to get rid of all of our millions of ladybugs. I don't know if you can see it on camera, how many are up there, but, uh, cause they're tiny, but we have many families of ladybugs in this room and, uh, they're going to be great in the garden, but uh, not so much in here. So meanwhile, we'll wash her up and hopefully they'll go outside in the breeze. <laughs> okay, we're turning the water on in the restaurant. We got toilets working. Toilets? Yeah. Here we go, the toilets That's... and the rest. And we think we got most of the leaks. But not all of the leaks. Yeah, we, this is where we took the sink out. So it's not just that disconnected, it's also a bit of a leak there too. It's definitely, uh, yeah. Yeah. Boom. So nice to turn her off. Yep. Nice to have TJ here. Uh, I'm too scared to do try some of this stuff, but you've got the experience. This is cool, eh? He, he, so he, what's the, he, this is, well, this is city water? Yes. Town water? And then over here is the pump and the pump obviously he set it up so the pump can do all the toilets i'm sure there's a price that he gained by doing that yeah. so he can do city water through toilets only with yeah. a pressure gauge a pressure regulator or through the a a pump. pump and a obviously pump. he could also run it through but that's not really wrong yeah no smart good work so very exciting we have been moved on to all of this peeling paint and nonsense going on in this bathroom that happened the last two winters. And we have a lovely waterfall of bits coming down. TJ has moved on to <laughs> scraping. Oh, wait, we got we're smashing it. <laughs> All right, really excited, really, really thankful for our friends, TJ and Susan, who came. By the way, old friends from church. Yeah. Uh, and when I say old, I get in trouble when people say it. Long time there friends. There we go. Yeah. We're from, old. <laughs> um, now, amazing that they came because they're in Indonesia. Uh, here's Leslie over here. Mm -hmm. um, they're in Indonesia like uh, four, three, four days before yeah. they came. Mm -hmm. Huge jet lag. Then they get on a plane. Just come for this. Why'd you guys come? Why? Well, I got the real answer. Actually, because <laughs> the butter has <laughs> the salt in it. It's incredible. <laughs> I fell in love with this. That's why I came. No. <laughs> no. My oh, answer but, is because you asked us. Yeah. Uh, I think we've always been um, intrigued with what you're doing here yeah, and excited. Yeah. We just love, we know you as people and your character and what you're doing is an amazing ministry. And just to have a chance to jump in and uh, help you, we've always wanted to do that. So when you ask, we're like, well, yeah, we're going to make a way to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it made not? sense, but it was in our Bollywood to be able to come yeah. here and do some of the projects. And again, like she said, we believe in you guys. Oh. <laughs> we believe uh, in the school. We believe what the Lord is doing. And so yeah. we're happy to be part of that. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. I like these, whatever these Look are. This. I, I Look at like the these. pair. Oh, we can voice over it, but that's just beautiful. <laughs> then, of course, the creme brulee. And then... And the chocolate fondant that looks good too with ice cream. Ooh. Yes, and bon cheese. appetit. So again, super thankful for TJ and Susan. By the way, uh, some of you guys have been really good about uh, writing us and saying, "Hey, I'd be willing to come out," and and we hope to do more of that in the future. So far, how we've decided to approach it is we have certain weeks that we set aside uh, just to do the work weeks, um, and and there's actually a very strategic reason for that. I know it's been really nice. A lot of folks are like, "Hey, I'm in France for three days. Could you use some help?" And, and while that's super thoughtful, the truth is when you have folks come in, you know, there's also, we have to spend a fair amount of time getting the chateau ready 
and 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 there's sort of a cost cost benefit analysis kind of thing and so we found that it works best to have folks come for like a week and and then we can really try to get everything ready and prepared and then make some good steps forward some chateau by the way uh they do this as a money-making thing like you'll notice that they'll have folks come in and then they pay and that feels kind of weird to us like to make people pay to come in but actually i understand it because um, there is actually costs involved, like between food and, and just utilities and, and and time and stuff. So it, it is kind of tricky, to be honest. But we will do more of those uh, as time goes on, um, and we'll try to advertise them as we as we plan them. Really, but happy happy on how this room is coming along. Remember, there was all those chip tiles. Okay, where were they? Do you remember where were the chip tiles? Do you see them? Now, if you take your time, you could definitely find them. But they don't jump out at you, do they? You've got to sort of look for them. Oh, you saw that one, maybe. Most of them are there. You see them? Yeah. Not bad. You know what I'm saying? There's one there. You can see it if you look for it, but you walk into the room and it doesn't scream. Oh, broken tiles. And uh, I think I finally got enough mud on there. A real guy would have done this in half the time, but that's okay. Live and learn, right? You improve. And honestly, for how rough this wall is, this might already be overkill. Some folks have mentioned, hey, you're not supposed to put drywall and drywall mud on big rock walls. You're probably right. It's probably a mistake. Um, and I sort of didn't think of it, but we'll see how it goes. We got it up there now. Maybe it'll hold, maybe it won't. If it doesn't hold, we'll redo it. And consider it tuition. <laughs> but if it works, great. All right, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. I am repointing or regrouting, how you like to say it, this bathroom, and it's so nice and white now. See my little broken tile there? Can you see it? Can you see it? it's right over there? Remember, it was how terrible it was. And then uh, there's another one over here. I'm going slow. See, that's pretty good too, right? You barely see it. And then again, the shadows you almost don't see it at all. There's you know, we've just scanned over six broken tiles and I bet you could only find a couple of them. Unless you like, I mean, if you look, you can find them. Okay, so here's the part I haven't done. See the difference? Just, it's like sunk, the grout is sunk back and it's dark and it's, so we're just putting a little white, new white grout in there and it cleans it up, makes it look beautiful. Progress. Leslie has uh, primed out the door, we filled the door. We've uh, primed out, We've primed out the walls. Now they don't look as good as we wanted. Again, this is just primer, so we're gonna put paint over that, but it's just so hard because you're going from a rough surface to a smoother one. This is where you need, this is where you need that Oregon spackle spray on stuff. So we'll see how it goes. We're gonna try to do a little bit more fixing, but hopefully it's gonna end up okay. So as you can see, when we put the up lights on, we had a problem because we're going from a very bumpy wall to a very flat wall. And so Leslie has an idea, and, and she is uh, doing some, s what do you call it? Well, you know, like when you're trying to pretend to make a faux stone wall, you use some plaster and you, you texturize that we're doing it with a sponge so we can try to get it to kind of Maybe. blend, blend from what the bumpy crazy wall it was to one that's got a little texture without going crazy. And I hate texture, but... It's better than it looking like yeah. it's different. So we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, wait until we come back with the paint and see, uh, see the finished product. But a good idea, I think. Yeah, I think Leslie's got it. That's uh, just the stone and then that's hers. So it looks brown because it's not dry, but uh, oh, much, much better. Much better, I think. We'll see, when we get the paint on it will be the test, but I think it's gonna look much, much better. You see it? So Leslie tells me there's a skeleton up here, she says. Oh, it's a dead bat. It's a bat skeleton? Where is it? Where is oh, it is too. Ew. Look at that. The things you find. Ew. So the filling is almost done on the walls in the basement bathroom. So I thought I'd come over to the paint table and see what blue samples I had here for that I originally had for the girls' room that I thought will probably work with the blue tile in the basement bathroom. So 
I've got a little bunch of them here. Let's go see what works. So let's go see what might work. We got it primed in here. That's the good news. At least most of it primed, <laughs> apparently. So we'll finish that up. That's still bumpy over there. But, you know, looking better than it was. So that's fantastic. So now, picking colors. It's not the same as at home. I have many, many, many uh, paint decks at home um, because I'm a bit of a color, I don't know, fanatic, I suppose. But um, anyways, there's lots of different, different nuances in color. You know, they're warmer, they're cooler, they're lighter. They have different, more, more green, more red, all these different things that have undertones, right? So this is just a few I had grabbed from the store. They don't have a ton of, you know, mix your own. A lot of the paint comes pre-mixed already, but there's a very limited number, maybe 20 colors, which so does not work in my worldview uh, <laughs> with the way I am um, in life. So um, this company, the Valspar company, does have a decent sized palette considering what we have to work with. So I kind of had grabbed a bunch of blues the other day. Not a lot here that are gonna work. Can you see how some have more green undertone? This has more red in it um, and so forth. When you look at this tile, you can kind of see how um, the tile is, is sort of a smoky blue, but it has a little bit of red in the undertone. So when I was trying to look and see what I had here, I kind of had gotten down into this world. Uh, whether it's lighter, it even looks different on camera. <laughs> Rob's got a light on in here, so it's kind of skewing the light. There's more of a natural light. Um, so even still, it reads different on camera. Anyway, so we'll see. I think it has enough of the red uh, in it. Uh, whether I go blue up here or not, we'll see. Um, and you will wait and see uh, to see what happens. But I think... If I use one of these, um, I think I'm down to at least these two, unless I can find something else at the store. Um, and then actually I had thought one more thing. You know, the girls paint that I used, which in the end I was going to use one of those. Here it is over here. And then I just didn't love it. it they were all too perky and too bright. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I needed something lighter. So this is the girl's paint, the Lubron, Lubron paint. Anyway, it's a super light, 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 light blue. I just needed it lighter for that stencil. So, you know, this is possible. Where are we gonna put this to have a good look? Let's see. That's oh, got natural light, but none of the other light. So, you know, maybe we'll see. Um, it's definitely picking up some of the background tones in that little polka dot kind of pattern. Um, so, you know, we'll see. I might like it that it's light. And in the end, if it's just driving me nuts and they're not quite right, we may end up with this cream. <laughs> uh, in the end, anyway, and then just do everything else in blue accents. But uh, right now, we just need to get some paint on the wall and get this whole thing finished up and be done already. Um, and then I can tweak over time if I need to. For now, we need to prime this whole window out and the door, it's got some filler in it, and um, it is time for the coats to begin. So let's get cracking. Doors all primed, both sides. Has potential to look good, let's, <laughs> let's hope so. And the window, not the outside, but I can't, I don't wanna mess with it now, but yes, the inside. And both sides of the shutter lovely and clean and uh, let's hope it's going to paint up beautifully when we start on the next coat i kind of wish we had a little more time we'll see if i end up being able to do the outside would be quite delightful but we'll see how much time we end up having here and um we'll go from there look at this pretty girl painting Indeed. it's looking great i think it's looking great but you say no that's uh, not great no it's not great what's not great about it um, you really want to know? Yeah. Well, the viewers want to know less. The viewers want to know. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, you know, you can still see the line between the two. Even when I added texture, it just wasn't enough. And it's not worth 
more effort to try to add more at this point. So. That's by far the worst because you got the big bend there. But over here is not bad, I don't think. Uh huh. And over here, I mean, you can see no. it. You can see the difference. Yeah. Oh, it's it, that's even worse on camera. Actually, it's better yeah. in live, I think. But yeah, it's you can see the good. angle. We'll see when. Oh, you haven't painted this yet. No. No, but this you painted. Yeah. And that starts to disappear a little bit more, eh? Well. So we're debating. I, I purposely didn't do a color. I'm just like, let's just get it cream. There'll be less, um, you know, um, highs and lows and contrast of color and all of that kind of stuff. So I think it'll show less. Because you were, you were leaning blue for quite a while. Yeah, I don't want to draw attention to Not anything. For now. So we're going to draw attention to the tile. That way, if we keep it cream, and it won't be that blue, no. You did a test where you said that's not good that's at all. That's not going to, no. Then what's wrong with it for those of us that can't see? Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, well, the, the, the tile blue has much more red in it and is much smokier periwinkles, kind of like a smoky periwinkle in some ways. Uh, I have no idea if I'll be able to make it work. I found one that's sort of okay, so my decision has been go cream on the walls and I'll add some blue on the trim and on the window shutter and stuff like that because then you'll get a little hint of it without it being bang on. So until I yep. can get a proper paint pad with more colors. Trust your decorator. That's if there's one thing I've learned, it's trust your decorator. There you go. Gardener's bathroom, so close. Tile done, walls painted, just white for now. Blue trim still to come. So I gotta put the shower in, so I gotta put the sink in. You know, is it perfect? No. Can you see a line? Yeah, you can. Or you can't really tell there. Some spots are worse than others, but it's a whole lot better than it was. So today's job, we're gonna uh, put the mirror up and also do the wiring. Now, um, we got power here. And we got power here now. We figured that out. We do not have power here, and we do not have power here. And I've gone to every fuse, the fuse box right outside. <laughs> As I've mentioned before, right conveniently under the water tap, which is crazy. Um, but I've, I've made every circuit work. I've checked to make sure every fuse is good. I've put fuses in each circuit to make sure we could get power. Still, no power here. So we're gonna take this wire out, we're gonna cap it. We'll put a, we'll, uh, we'll isolate it. So just in case someday something happened that it did have power, it'd still be safe. But we're gonna take that one out and we're gonna take the switch out and then we'll uh, turn, we'll uh, get this little little guy. We'll get power from there for the, for the light. Every year our kids get to come and visit uh, and be able to be out here and be part of our life over in this side of the world. Um, Amy isn't coming in the summer because our son's getting married. So she decided to come right after all of her Easter duties working at church. And uh, so she just got here. So I'm always excited about that. So she, she gets to be here to help me get all the rooms ready. And, uh, Cause she'll be here right up until the session starts and then she'll fly home. Here we are, we've got a visitor. It's our daughter, Amy. Welcome back. Thank you. How's the, how's the chateau looking? looking good i see some improvements some bedrooms downstairs looking fire i might add oh you like those in the basement i love them they look great okay that's good i was yeah. nervous we were no, nervous they, so mom my mother told me the other day she's like yeah they're done and i'm like what do you mean they're done like they were like nasty little boxes of cement and now they're beautiful rooms yeah that's mom's so that's very gifted good. at that isn't she yeah. uh yeah it's been a year since you've been here it has so lots of changes yeah. that's the best change or what's the best change Those in the bathrooms. Yeah, the bathrooms are good. Yeah. Three bathrooms. Of course, you you worked on the one bathroom too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of fun. Welcome back, Amy Cakes. Okay, thank you. So they have little tiny roads in front of the back roads. And uh, it's kind of one laners. You have to move all the way over when you have someone passing. But you also get to see a cute little chateau along the way. So this is our way on the way to the Brocon. The back way is always happy. <laughs> Hi guys, guess where we are? The Brocon. I still need a couple things for the boys room. Big shocker. Uh, so we're coming by for one more swipe before we maybe have to head over to another city. And I've got my Amy girl this time. So I got a buddy, Rob's happy. <laughs> Let's see what we find. The Brocon in question.
cute. That is cute. And this is very close to my tea set, the Limoges, mm -hmm. but it's not quite right. Always good to check though, in case you find any extra pieces. I know, so many cute ones. So cute. I thought we said that this guy was fun. I don't know. That's the town, maybe. Cute. A winner. Lots of detail on these things. Oh, my homie Jesus. Hey, buddy. <laughs> she is unimpressed. <laughs> Keep your standards high, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you taking it? I don't know, maybe. It's funny, isn't it? It is funny. He's like, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got Chateau Doucet. We see that on the trip. Some marble. Lots of big wardrobes. We also found some pictures and such that we will be taking home. It's pretty. The funny thing about brocantes is there's like beautiful treasures around every turn. And then all of a sudden, ski boots. Nice. Vintage ski boots, apparently. So funny, the tiniest bed, my foot for reference. Also this couch, so cute, so pretty. So there's a clothes section in here now that says all the garments, five euro. So we're setting this down and we're going looking. This is like the weirdest section ever to me. Um, however, this is the cutest lamp literally ever. Tiny, adorable, pink. Doesn't have a price. Might come back for it. Executive decision. <laughs> we had a really nice week in terms of getting some gifts. Yeah. Uh, now, again, this probably feels weird to some of you that watch these Chateau channels because I know uh, like a lot of it's really nice that folks send, send stuff, and, and I know some some uh, channels kind of really emphasize that. Then other people will come and watch, and they'll be like, oh, you guys are greedy, and you want all this stuff. And, uh, and, and I, I mean, I get that, too, because it, you know, and, and so the whole thing is complicated. I don't know if you've ever heard someone say, like, when they win the Oscars or they win some kind of award, they say, they get up to the front and they go, I'm humbled by this. Mm -hmm. And you're always kind of like, why are you humbled? Uh, you, know, you just won this big award. I actually kind of get it. I think, I think sometimes when you're in that position, you know, when those guys are in that position, they get up there and they realize they're just regular dudes. Yeah. You know, they're not special and they don't maybe even disease. And so everyone's saying all these things and, and inside they're thinking, no, not really. I'm just normal. And so they're humbled. And it's kind of the same way when folks send you gifts. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of humbling. Mm -hmm. And on mm -hmm. one hand, it's so beautiful. Like we got, we had lovely gifts. Like our friends, some of our friends, well, I shouldn't say their names maybe, sent us this really nice balsamic vinegar that we taught, and it's gonna be for the students and they're gonna enjoy that a ton. Mm -hmm. um, we had, um, uh, we also had some friends saying, hey, you guys need a better, you need some better camera gear and somebody else uh, some said, you guys really need a better shop vac and so they picked that up for us and it's super helpful. Mm -hmm. It's also humbling um, because you have to realize that you, this job is too big for two yeah. people. Or it's accepting help. Yeah. And and there's part of you that really <laughs> wants to be like, I can do this and I don't, you know, I can do it alone. But it's, you can't, you can't make it through alone. And so it's humbling, but it's also very gratifying. So thank you guys very much. We're not like trying to pitch for you to send us stuff. We're really not. But it is very thoughtful, those of you that have. And we are, we are appreciative and also humbled. Yeah. Here's, uh, 
Here's, by the way, the third really cool uh, gift. All right, trees. Yeah, by my count, we have four uh, broken trees. There's a big one. Now, here's the good news. I think we can probably get this guy down ourselves. It's not gonna kill anybody. And by the way, we had really good news on the, the big, huge falling tree. First off, uh, we got a, our first quote was 1,200. Second quote, four something. So much cheaper, we're gonna be able to afford it. And this is awesome. We had some friends uh, from previous years who actually had helped out with us on staff. And they said, hey, we'd like to cover that. So uh, <laughs> isn't that nice? So we'll be able to get the tree down. I won't die. And uh, like Lord willing and uh, such good news. Friday morning and uh, I thought it might be fun to give you kind of a day in the life to do list. We've got about 10, 11 days till the students arrive and we're starting to get a little bit stressed. So that means that there's a lot of things on the old to do list. So I went and talked to Leslie this morning and said, hey, why don't you help me order? Cause she's feeling the pressure. And I thought, why don't I give her the option to list the first few things I'm gonna do. So we're gonna move the radiator that we took out of the London bathroom and we're gonna try to reinstall the sink base in the guy's room, which had been moved for a leak. Uh, we're going to fill the Japanese bathroom, finish filling it, TJ did most of it, then sand. Uh, then I'm gonna go up to the top left landing and take out the mold that's up there, get a ladder. Then we've also got some uh, some debris from all that big leak in the planter bathroom. We're gonna scrape that out, clean it out. If I have time, then we'll mow because the rains are coming and the yard's starting to get out of control. So there, there you go, that's kind of the start. Leslie's list is a lot longer um, and perhaps I can get her to uh, give it to us. It should, it should, it probably goes without saying too that there's also lots of regular life things that you've got to take care of. Like, uh, for example, this morning I woke up and it was really nice. We had a request to rent our beach house, so I did that. And then I had some Multnomah emails and I had to worry about some student advising. Uh, what else? And then a, a call from an insurance agent for Loire Valley. And boy, there's a couple other things too. I can't remember them all, but we sort of have to keep our life at home running while we're uh, in the middle of doing these things. All right, moving the radiator. Leslie wanted this closet clear. I had it in this closet, but the guys in the end room don't really have a ton of storage. So it is nice to open, clear this up for them. And then they have lots of room for stuff. Here's the end room, which has been beautifully cleaned by Leslie and Susan. And even though this is one of the, the only bedroom without a bathroom, uh, Susan was saying that this is one of her favorites. And I believe it because the views out the window are so magnificent. Clearly this room needs some paint, but still a tremendous potential. Every, every window is beautiful in this room. And windows on three sides too, which is very nice, right? Yeah, love it. Massive opening for the door here. They've got a curtain, but really, um, the other option is you can close the interim doors here, and then you could technically lock the door to the guy's room, and then you still have a hard hard seal. It's good as a double room. I've got these pink fixtures in the boys' room. Look at us. And uh, getting this thing on is just such a puzzle. It's, uh, it was leaking at one point, so we had to take the base off, but to try to get it in, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to break it. But it's just really tight, so we'll see if we can get her. It's in. There was nothing fancy. You just had to hit it harder, which you're always nervous to do because if you hit these things too hard, obviously porcelain will break, but we got it in. That's the main thing. I'm guessing it won't be long between it before these are switched out, but they are what they are. Day in the life, we went to the action store. By the way, the action store in France, extremely reasonable. Uh, sets of screwdrivers for $3, so I got a couple because it feels like we're always out of flat blade screwdrivers here. In America, you're always using the Phillips, but uh, it seems like the flat ones are often necessary here. So, um, you know, again, $3 for this, couple dollars for the hardware. Uh, we needed four more smoke detectors. We got about nine already, but they were quite reasonable, actually five euro. Um, so that's great. A couple of cheap tarps. I think this was a couple bucks. A little sander. All the sanding we're doing. Makes sense to save your hands a little bit with the $2. And a $5 first aid kit. We'll throw that in the van when we're driving around. Somebody gets a cut. Dan Loy. Next up, we're going to finish up some of the filling. TJ did a great job scraping. And uh, I'm going behind and uh, doing... He ran out of mud. So I'm going to go finish up the last little bit. 
Kind of hard to reach spots, but we'll get her. Then we'll sand her, then we'll prime her, then we'll paint her. Leslie says two day job. I'm like, eh, three. A couple of minutes ago, I was up on the ladder and I uh, got, a, got a message from one of my, my former students who I just did a, a job in reference for and uh, we were talking about it. He asked how the life of the, the glamorous life of the shaft owner is going. <laughs> and I sent him a short video standing on top of the ladder looking down. The glamorous life of the Chatelaine. Chatelaine? Job four in the morning. Leslie spotted a little bit of mold up there. So I'm gonna get up there and get some vinegar on it. She says both the corners, not bad, not terrible, but may as well get it. It helps a great deal uh, to not be scared of heights and ladders in this job because you find yourself up here a lot. You know, if you tell me that within the next couple of years I get injured from falling off a ladder or having a ladder break or fall, that wouldn't surprise me at all because there's just a, it, there's just a lot of heights involved. Lunchtime, the crepes, crepes, a little bit of eggs, ham, cheese in there, yum. Lunch goes on, everybody's found their spot. After lunch, what a difference between the genders. I'm like, oh, I don't know, maybe it's making a difference. Leslie walks up and goes, what a difference. She's like, it's so much cleaner. She's like, I can totally see what you're doing. So I decided to go all the way around and uh, we'll get it all. I wanna have a good look at those cracks too, up close. This is not great news. Leslie was cleaning the room the other day and she looked out, hey, Mr. Bubs, there's Bingley. She looked out and she says, hey, there's some stone on the ledge. You don't like to you don't like to see that because that means it has fallen from there that's our crack remember yikes let's go take a look at the other one and there's one on each side even more disturbing even more disturbing that is a crack in fact likely the most significant crack i've seen in the chateau but when you look at it real close, you know, it's uh, it's not massive and it hasn't moved very much. Also of note is that the outside cracks are on the, like uh, exterior cracks are on the outside of this window, like over there. And on the inside it's here. So I don't know what that means. Still, still never happy to see a crack. Uh, even I, a lowly man, can see the difference we're making up here now. <laughs> yeah, that was actually dirtier than you realize. When you get up here, you see, oh, that's kind of gross. This hasn't been cleaned since we bought the Chateau, so fair enough. We got her. We got her. Now, last dilemma. The middle up here. I do not, it's not very dirty for one thing, but I do not want to lean a ladder on this because if somehow it slipped off, it would go down and that's a long way down. That's a long way down. It's more than 30 feet. So that would be uh, injury to life and limbs. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to configure this ladder that does not lean over the abyss. Got it. Got it. All right, job five. Uh, this, is, uh, this is our planter bathroom. And again, there has been a big leak here over time and you can see the evidence that, boy, it's a beautifully clean bathroom though. That's Susan and Leslie just killed it. It's a sparkling, except for this corner, which has been subject to leak. Now we're getting a new roof in three weeks. So hopefully, you know, the days of this leak are nearing an end, but in the interim, since we have students coming, I think we're gonna scrape it. We're gonna clean it. And we're just gonna put some paint on it temporarily. Then we'll do a better job a better job after we know it's dry and it won't leak again. We'll do a permanent job. So this is a temporary job. Job five. Look at this beautiful ceiling that Paul painted the other year. Thanks, Paul. Still looking great. Sorry about the leak. We'll get it fixed, though. Tragic to get uh, dirt and dust on this nice clean bathroom. We'll have to clean it up again. But it's all scraped. And I actually threw a layer of paint again. This is just a patch. 
it's just some primer. We're just trying to make it a little less dirty for the short term so it's not so gross for the students. We'll get in there and fix it once we got that new roof. All right, job seven. Job seven for today. Last job today, four o'clock, last couple hours, mowing. Oh, it's reward time. Four thirty AM and the rain started coming down. So it's time for the chateau owners to go up to the roof. Boy, that's a lot of water in there. I gotta get to the bottom of that one. I hear another one over here. See if we got some water in here. Oh, somebody's getting a free drink. Pretty dry. Pretty dry in here. dripping but it's hitting something that's not good boy so nice to come home to all the beautiful trees that are coming out in their splendor the leaves they look fantastic great things about having a farm in front of, of your house is it always changes like sometimes there's plants there they uh, just tilled it all up and it's kind of fun looks different every time you look Thursday job number one today is hook up some hoses Leslie uh, wants hoses to get to her roses which makes sense and so there's some long runs long runs and we have to uh, connect the hoses. Now they have these weird connections. Now they have good ones and weird ones. These are the weird ones. They're extremely hard to work with. You have to push really hard and twist. Um, and this one's a bad one, so I'm gonna replace it. And then they have ones that are much easier than newer ones. I'll show you those in a second. You can see this is a good connection. Basically, you screw them together and those two rubber things just push up, and, but you have to push really hard. So that's a good one. But this one's gone bad and so you know you can see we're going to switch this one out normally you just loosen these little connections and then it comes right off you can see they put two on but this one is so badly corroded i couldn't get it i don't want to spend 10 minutes trying to get it i'm just going to take the knife and we'll cut it off and lose one inch or two inches of hose put the new one on leslie says that blackbirds have been uh, making their home in our attic now Usually it's pigeons, but perhaps the blackbirds have come. We're not super worried because of course, new roof in a few weeks. And uh, and that'll get all sealed up. So those birds will hopefully no longer be able to get in of any stripe. Everything's always a challenge. This is, but a fun one this time. I think we've got a little bit better of a system. Two long hoses and then one that automatically retracts. So Leslie, I think is happy. She doesn't have to wheel the big, she doesn't have to wheel the big roller around, which is super heavy. At least back here, she doesn't have to wheel it around. So my one little rose that is this beautiful cream with a little bit of pink in the, um, in the undertone, I've just loved. It was a mess. We thought it was dead. I think it's one of the original from the when they had it as a rose garden. And um, our first summer here, I saw just a little bit of green coming out. And I'm like, I am not going to pull this thing out yet. And then the next year there was a little more and then it finally bloomed and it was beautiful, but it was only this one little branch. Then, then I started no, cleaning. No, then this broke. Then no, no, no. 
at first, oh, yeah. at first I started cleaning out around it, which I need to do again this year. And tiny little ones started coming the first year, but hardly anything. This year is by far the most healthy uh, regrowth on the bottom, which is spectacular. And also on this old, old stick, which is why I hesitate pulling out old sticks that look dead because sometimes things still come out. And then even despite the urn falling on this poor little old rose and- Cracking it pretty badly. Yes, it's just hanging by a thread and I just couldn't bear to cut it off. Uh, it's still gonna bloom this year. And it kept it alive long enough for the little ones at the base it to go. Did. So it nice did. job, Rose. So our little kitchen back door. We got our little pots looking a little worse for the wear, but you know what, they work. So we're gonna go with that for now. Got a nice little abundance going on here. So, and a few more over there that I haven't touched yet because I think they're gonna fill out. And I don't know if you've ever seen this. Can put those down for a minute. But this beautiful grill work, let me show you the inside. So what's cool about this is they have these little doors with little handles that open. Is that not cute? Come on, isn't that cute? So this one still has its glass and can close nicely. It helps with ventilation. This one, has no glass, <laughs> but Rob's got the glass. So we just need to get it in eventually here. And uh, I think somebody wants in. <laughs> oh, Bingy, <laughs> you want in? And I just thought those are uh, so cute. They're on both sides. And I'm looking forward to getting the glass put in those because I think they'll be adorable. You know, there's a lot of projects that you think to yourself, someday when I'm out here and I have more time, I can't wait to do this. And one of them, honestly, is just the ceilings. Like you got these little cracks. And again, they're not a huge problem, right? Like they look bad. And the North Americans were like, ah, cracks, you know, or over here, these ugly, ugly guys, these cracks. But it's not actually a huge structural issue. And I think I talked about this in another video, but what you've got here is um, over time, over 150, 170 years, the beams, you know, they get older and they sag just a bit. And when they sag, um, you know, they can move. They have the ability to sag an inch or two, um, but plaster doesn't, doesn't flex. And so the plaster cracks. This is kind of a bummer too. Look, we're getting some, a uh, few marks on our little, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you call that, uh, mural, I guess. So we'll have to figure a way we can fix that without uh, destroying it, find some person with a little bit of artistic gifting that has some sense of color and, you know, finish it up. Maybe we've never looked at this before. Hard to pick out this. I'm not sure who did this. I don't think it's original. We don't think it's original, but it is cool. You got the Roman guy and you're not sure which, where that's from. And of course, those two a gentleman without clothes, bless their hearts. I'll try to skip past them. We've toyed around with the idea of putting clothes on them, but it feels like that would be rude to the painting. That guy looks like a Greek dude. I don't know. And then we have some we'll go around the light. Well, then actually, that dude looks like he's not wearing a lot of clothes either. And then is that a statue? Is it a person? I don't know. But it's kind of fun. Even if it's not original, someone did some cool work on this. It's a nice feature of the chateau. We've got the ironing factory line going on. First duvet and fitted sheet are all clean and ready to go back on the beds upstairs from our work party. More ironing ensuing. And Amy Girl is in the process of helping getting this great armoire I got last year all ready to become our new breakfast cupboard. And we're trying to rip all of this gross, red, sticky, smelly, dirty stuff off the back. And it may be gross at the back of that too, but if that's the case, then we can always put in new stuff, worst case. But for now, let's get the gross, the gross stuff off and then we'll see what it looks like in the end. But I think this is where we're going to have all of our dishes for breakfast and all of that kind of stuff. So I think it's going to look great. Saturday, the Japanese bathroom. Now, this is one of our better rooms, but the bathroom has been so bad. All scraped and filled. And now we're going to set up the scaffolding. 
for that room and the ladder for this room so we can sand this bad boy down and start to prime it. Such an interesting bathroom. It's so dramatic and so outdated, but there's a lot of tile and you're like, oh, you hate to tear it all out, but probably eventually it will all get torn out. But for now, we'll take down, we'll take it down a notch with a, a more normal color on the walls at least. And then eventually, you know, these big dramatic blue fixtures made apart. Hey, we have a bidet, by the way, it works. Still haven't tried it. I can hear Rob, he's sanding. Let's go see. How's it going? How's it going? Oh my goodness. Did sanding okay? Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a job. Isn't it though? Yeah. With the students almost here, it, it was really important for us to figure out a way to hook up the Starlink satellite to our uh, Google Mesh, which by the way works fantastic. And so went back up into the attic. This took a couple hours, but man, it was something I thought about for days and days and days. What we ended up doing is taking the cable down the pipe and then over through that skylight across this wall into the walk-in closet where they had previously wired a bunch of cables. I picked up a really nice big bit. And it's funny, because I thought about this for days. What's gonna happen when I try to poke through? What's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? When I actually went to a drill through the wall, it took all of two seconds. So it was not nearly as, as difficult as I thought. And there you can see the drill just poking out a little bit. However, getting the cable through took almost an hour because of course this cable is super thick and they have a big end on it that has like a right angle on it. So it was really tricky, but eventually we got her through and uh, the internet now comes down to the premier etage where it joins the mesh and the students will have wonderful internet. Thanks for coming on the adventure this week with us. We have more exciting things coming next week. Hopefully the gardener bathroom in the basement will be done. Um, and also the week after that, probably one of our biggest videos of the year, we're going to do oh, a yeah. 2023 chateau walkthrough and you'll see yeah. all the changes from the year that's always a big one if you're liking all our adventures and wanting to find out what happens next uh please subscribe just push the little button and it'll give you some reminders of when we finally get to post some stuff and you'll get to watch and see what's going on at the chateau yeah we're trying to be smarter about the analytics stuff just makes sense we'll see have a good one guys thanks